What's up, Light Keepers? Today, we're going over 10 things that you must bring to a music festival in 2023. Now, aside from all the obvious ones, these are all the essential things that you need. So go ahead and like this video and let's jump into it. Now, aside from all of the obvious things like your ID, your ticket or your wristband, your outfit, your contacts, anything that has to do with the essentials, the first item on my list is always earplugs. Now I hate using foam earplugs because it completely messes with the sound and so you want to get yourselves some decibel reducing earplugs. The reason you want these is because it doesn't really distort the sound, it just overall lowers the decibel level and so it doesn't cause as much damage to your ear but you can still hear. My friends used to make fun of me for wearing earplugs and now they're deaf. I'm kidding, they're not. But if you wanna keep going to raves and music festivals until you're old, then you definitely wanna invest in some earplugs. My favorite have to be the Eargasm earplugs. I've tried many different kinds of earplugs and these ones are just the best that I've used and most people that I know agree. Number two on the list is gonna be chapstick. Now, most festivals want you to have a sealed chapstick before you get in, but I always bring in an open one and I sneak it in. Later in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I do that. The reason this is so important, because usually by the end of the night, my lips, and I'm sure many of your other lips, get crusty. But this bad boy right here keeps that rejuvenation, that essence of life. I know sometimes at the end of the night, you'll be feeling some type of way, make eye contact with a Ray Bay, and she's the perfect one for the night, and she looks at your lips, and they're crusty! Now you ain't getting none. So bring this bad boy to help save your night. Next on the list is a bandana or some sort of face mask to protect you from dust. Right here I got my trusty Dirty Bird Campout bandana. I love this thing. I got it at Dirty Bird Campout and I wear it all the time. It looks badass and it protects me from the dust. A mask will do just fine as well. I always bring a bandana as a backup because one Coachella, I forgot to bring it and you know, it's on a polo field, right? And there's like horses shitting all the time. And I was just inhaling that dust, that dirt and that horse shit. And by the end of the night, I blew my nose and it was just pure black. After that, I was like, no more. I'm gonna bring a face mask or some sort of face covering every single time. What you could substitute for a bandana is a pashmina. Uh, pashminas are great because you could use them as face masks. You could use them as scarves when you're cold. I see a lot of people rocking them as like headsets or as like head decorations. So you could wear them like this. There's so many different ways that you could style them. Very versatile, very light. You could shove them in a bag. You could tie them around your waist. You could rock these however you want. And so lately, especially in the winter time, I've been going more the pashmina route than the bandana route. Whichever one suits your fancy, just bring something that will cover your face in case of an emergency, especially at those outdoor festivals. The next item you wanna bring is some sort of comfortable footwear, especially if you're dancing for like eight to 10 hours, it's gonna be painful at the end of the night. When I was a lot younger, I'd just go out in like these Vans Authentics or these cheap shoes and I didn't really feel anything because I was invincible at that time. But now that I'm a little older, I cannot do that anymore because it's so painful. And so I like to wear some more comfortable shoes. I wear New Balance. I don't know if this ages me. I'm sure you could find some quality shoes that are both stylish and comfortable. Another thing that has really helped me is I bought these uh, shoe insoles. And these are not like the soft ones. Uh, these ones are from Amazon. They're called Walk Hero. These are really firm and they have an arch there. And so it gives a lot of support for my feet while I'm dancing, while I'm walking. Whatever I need, it's very helpful. I highly recommend them. The next on the list is some sort of backpack or fanny pack to carry all of your things. Now, a really popular thing to bring is a hydration pack. And so this is a super old camel bag that's beat and dusted from going to way too many raves. So it's really easy. You just put it on your back and you can drink from the tube all night. Um, I personally don't like using these anymore because I feel really restricted. And so what I opt for now is just a fanny pack. This one is pretty fucking massive. And so it could fit a water bottle in here, like a battery pack, GoPro, stick, all different types of things. And so I'm just going with this now because it's way more useful. There are a lot of different options for fanny packs or packs in general that are stylish, that are sizable. And so just pick the one that works best for you and your needs. Now the next item on the list are sunglasses. You definitely wanna bring a pair of sunglasses, especially if it's a daytime festival. These are gonna be lifesavers. Even if it's a nighttime festival, some of y'all be getting that face at the end of the night. 
and you need these sunglasses. Now me personally, I don't really like carrying the sunglass case around. And so wearing nicer sunglasses is kind of a nuisance for me. Sometimes I'll just bring cheap ones. I'll just shove them in a bag without a case. If there is someone going with a larger pack, then, then maybe I'll bring the nicer sunglasses. Just know that you always need these for daytime festivals. The next item on the list is a battery pack. Now this battery pack is massive. It has a 20,000 milliamp, I think. I think that's the unit, but it, it holds a lot. It, this thing can charge my phone like five times. It'll last the whole weekend. Nowadays, I don't need a battery pack as much because I finally have a newer phone after like a couple years. But if you have an older phone that's like two to three years old, and you take a video of your favorite song from your favorite DJ, and your battery is all of a sudden at 14%, then you definitely wanna bring a battery pack. It's gonna save your life and you're gonna need it because your phone is gonna be your lifeline, especially when you're fucked up at the end of the night. Another great summer festival item to bring is a fan. I got this one from a rave. Apparently it's from Rave Wonderland, but honestly, I don't know how I got this. Somebody just gave it to me at a rave and told me to keep it. I have no idea, but if it's gonna be hot, you definitely wanna bring a fan. It's great getting fanned while you're in a crowd. And it's a great way to make friends as well because there's nothing better than when you're burning up at a stage and the sun's just beating down on you. You forgot your sunglasses. You don't have a pashmina to block the heat out. And then some angel comes with a fan and blesses you with the breath of God that brings you rejuvenation. So very effective and great way to make friends. One point though is if you have one of these, please don't be one of those fan clackers that tries to do this to the beat. Oh my god, it's terrible. No one wants to hear that. It's fucking annoying. Just just don't, please. And finally, this is a little bonus item. For me, I always love to bring a set of LED gloves. This is my passion. One time I went to a festival and saw a girl sitting on the ground and she was not well. I went up to her and asked her if she wanted a light show and she said yes. And I gave her one and it completely changed the course of her night. She just lit up and she was so grateful and happy. And I realized the power of these light shows, it can really be that trigger that just turns somebody's night around completely. And so I always bring these gloves because I love lighting people up and it's such a rewarding experience for me and the viewer. If you wanna learn how to give light shows, then go to learngloving.com and I'll teach you exactly how to mesmerize any crowd with your light shows. Now I'm gonna teach you how to sneak all this stuff into the festival. A lot of these festivals ban gloves, and so what I do is I get a little pouch and I shove my gloves in there. I shove my open chapstick in there. I put in any other things that I might wanna sneak in, you know, like flashlights. The key ingredient to all of this is wearing stash boxers. So these boxers right here, they have a pocket right in here. So I take this stuff, shove it all the way down and around and pretty much hide it like right under my asshole. And there's no security guards that are ever touching down there. And if they are, then you should get a lawyer and sue them. This has worked time and time again for me. I've never gotten caught and I've been to hundreds of festivals. So if you want a foolproof way to sneak in your stuff, then get the stash boxers. That wraps it up for all the most essential items that you'll need to bring to a music festival in 2023. If you want some extra things to make friends, you could always bring along some gum or some Vicks vapor rub, hand sanitizer, maybe a small flashlight if you're at a camping festival, or some type of totem if you're with a large group as well. But for the most part, I gave you all of the essentials that you're gonna need. I hope you guys have a great time in 2023 and go leave an impact on somebody at these festivals. I'll see you next time.